Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to another action figure review, and today we're reviewing the Star Wars Black Series Gamer Great Darth Maul from Star Wars Battlefield 2. But we all know this is Darth Maul from Star Wars Rebels. We we all know this. Anyway, into the origin. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this, but um, I kind of pulled up a poll, and I pulled up if you guys wanted me to start reviewing Star Wars Black Series and G.I. Joe, which I actually already started doing on my channel, but then I stopped. And you guys both picked both, so we're going to do both. We're going to start off with Star Wars. And if you, everyone's wondering, yes, we're still going to talk about their origins. The only reason why I don't do it for DC Multiverse is because, once again, they have a car that explains their story. Anyway, Dark Maul was born in the beautiful, red, disgusting, scary-ass planet known as Daphomir. This is the planet where the legendary Night Sisters are. And in this little planet, you basically have the Night Sisters. If you have born a girl, then she becomes a Night Sister. If you born a boy, then they are just put in the strength in camps. Basically, the guys on that planet are treated like just straight up soldiers, honestly. And because of this, it is a tradition that all males of Daphomir are actually tattooed at two years old. Am I reading that right? Wait, so Dark Maul has his tattoo since he was two? Damn. What? Huh. That probably was painful. Anyway, even though he was treated like a soldier, like the rest of the men of Daphomir, he actually really cared about his mom, and his mom did him. But sadly, because his mom had to become a nice sister, she disappeared. And this rage and anger somehow was able to manifest into him tapping into the power of the Force. Dark Sidious already sensed this boy's potential. So he basically set up his entire life to be agony and pain. For people who don't know about Star Wars stuff, you got the night side and the dark side. The dark side of the Force is when you embrace your emotions of anger and fear. So, freaking <laughs> pup, Dark Sidious decided to, you know, uh, control events in the shadows to make Dark Maul's life a living nightmare. And then when Dark Maul finally came of age, Dark Sidious adopted him and began his training as a Sith. After years of training and killing other Jedi, he actually finally gets a real mission and fights two Jedis. These Jedis were called Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, actually, Obi-Wan Kenobi was a Padawan, aka a Jedi in training, so that doesn't really count. Well, now normally I would explain, you know, what he was doing on that planet, what events he was pulling together, and I would have, but we're focusing on Dark Maul. All you need to know is, is that near the end of the movie, Dark Maul was fighting Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi when he was young, and he was actually able to kill Qui-Gon Jinn. But of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi came in with that, well, not revenge, more like that righteous, I don't know how to talk about Jedis being cool without making them sound like Siths. The point is, he got his vengeance and cut Maul in half. Now, a lot of people thought this would be the end of him, but it wasn't. Now, if we jump into the Clone Wars show, Season 3, Episode 12, Night Sisters, this begins the quest of Dark Maul's return. You see, Ventress, the used-to-be apprentice of Count Dooku, was betrayed by Count Dooku because, you know, the two rule Master and Apprentice, and Ventress was honestly just being used as all be real here. Decided she wanted revenge on Count Dooku for using her and lying to her. And so she needed a pet or tool. I forgot what she called Savage in the in the show, but basically she found Savage. And using Night Sister magic, he became a very powerful man with two-sided lightsabers. How the hell did no one see this man becoming related to Dark Maul? How did no one see this coming? Anyway. Savage, after finally breaking free of the uh, Night Sister magic and escaping Ventress, returned to Daphimir and talked to the leader of the Night Sisters. It was there that the leader of the Night Sisters told uh, Savage that he had a brother. And so Savage was able to find Dark Maul, but he was in a very, very sick state. But of course, this being Star Wars, Savage was able to grab Dark Maul, put him in his ship, and bring him to Daphomir. There, they were able to bring him back to his normal self, and even give him robotic legs that look like horse legs. I never liked those legs, I'm gonna be honest with you. Also, apologies if I say normal. Yeah, Dark Maul is not normal. He's been in that pit for a very long time. Because remember, when he first saw Obi-Wan Kenobi, he was a Padawan, a young Padawan. Now, he's a Jedi Master with his own Padawan. 
Like, he's been there for a long time. And the only reason why he was able to survive was because of his hatred and anger for Obi-Wan Kenobi. So minutes after his mind's been restored and he has new legs and he's semi-functional, he grabs a ship with his brother Savage, go to a planet, go to a village, and slaughters every single person in the village to get the attention of Obi-Wan Kenobi. This begins the spiral act of Dark Maul and Savage trying to kill Obi-Wan Kenobi, and of course they fail, twice. But the second time was really bad because they were left in the ship and they were basically dying, but that's when they were found by Death Watch. The Mandalorians, baby! Yeah! After being fully restored, and I mean fully because Dark Maul finally got rid of them horse legs and got some real legs, and uh, Savage actually lost his arm in the last fight with Obi-Wan Kenobi, so he actually got a new robotic arm. The leader of Death Watch decided to uh, make a little deal with Dark Maul. So, this is the deal they made. Dark Maul and Savage would help Death Watch take back their planet Mandalore. And in return, Death Watch will help Dark Maul get their revenge against Obi-Wan Kenobi. And so, after convincing, ki killing, killing, killing leaders of other space mafia men and, you know, taking over their organizations and merging them with Death Watch, they began to take back Mandalore, but in secret. You see, Dark Maul and Savage and some of the mafia space people that they have would act like criminals while Death Watch would stop them, <laughs> wink, wink, and pretend to be the heroes of Mandalore. The plan worked. But, of course, this is Death Watch we're talking about. You see, basically, the leader of Death Watch believed he has successfully used Dark Maul and Savage to take back Mandalore. But the truth is, Savage and Dark Maul were actually using him to grow their empire. Yeah, because Dark Maul is... He, he, he got into the criminal emprise very, very quickly. After, you know, breaking free of the pathetic attempt on trying to keep them in cages, like they're Sith Lords, Dark Maul challenged the leader of Death Watch into a fight. And if you know Mandalore customs, you know this man could not deny it. And also, if he loses, then, you know, the leader of Death Watch dies, which he obviously does. Now, you guys probably already know this, but the leader of Death Watch had the blah. Uh, the Darksaber, which means you're the King of Mandalore, or the King of the Death Watch. So, <laughs> Dark Maul had the Darksaber now, and this did not go well with half of the people who were part of Death Watch, so they kind of split up and caused a little Death Watch civil war, basically. And of course, the Jedi Council was watching every move Dark Maul made, so Obi-Wan Kenobi decided to disguise himself as a Mandalorian to try to save the Princess of Mandalore because they kind of got a thing done. Of course, that thing didn't last long because, you know, Jedis can't marry or even have girlfriends, so it's like, you know. But you see, this is all part of Dark Maul's plan. You see, the thing about Dark Maul and his revenge is that he doesn't want to just straight up kill Obi-Wan Kenobi, at least not yet. At this point, he just wants to make him suffer the way he suffered. And so, with Obi-Wan Kenobi literally staring at Dark Maul, he kills the Queen of Mandalore, or Duchess Satine, actually. I, Jesus Christ, I should have just used them. Anyway, this was devastating to Obi-Wan Kenobi, and of course, he was captured. But during all that was happening, Dark City has finally realized what was going on, and yeah, he kicked their asses. I love Dark Maul, but he got his ass whooped by Dark Sidious. Like, it was, it was sad how bad that ass whooping was. And of course, Savage died in that fight, and he became used by Dark Sidious once more, since he already had Count Dooku as his new apprentice. Oh God, Th this is so much. We're not, we're not even done yet. We're still not done yet. Yeah. Because then we have the Siege of Mandalore. Remember I talked about that Mandalorian Civil War I was talking about? Yeah, well, the actual Death Watch decided to go to the Republic to ask for help. This is, this is big, this is a big deal. And so, of course, the Jedi Council couldn't officially help them, but there lies the beauty of Ahsoka Tano. You see, she wasn't a Jedi at this time. She was just a simple force user. It's okay if she's sent there, right? God, I love this show sometimes. Anyway, after the fight between Ahsoka Tano and Dark Maul, he was captured by, you know, the clones and was arrested and put in the brig. But at this time, 
It was the end of the Jedi Order, of the Republic, of the Senate. It was the beginning of the Empire. And with one simple word to the clones who were actually forced to do this because of the chips that were put inside of them, to execute Order 66. Of course, Ahsoka Tano is not gonna die that goddamn easy. She's a Jedi, well, not. Look, the point is she ain't die easily. And she actually freed Dark Maul and told her to, told him to make a distraction while she saved her friend Rex, who was a clone at the time, and she was able to get the chip out of his head so he could finally have his own freedom back. Anyway, the ship crashes, and of course, we both know Ahsoka Tano and Rex survived. I have no idea how on God Green's Earth did Dark Maul survive this. All I know is, is that he comes back in Star Wars Rebels like years later. Like now he's old, but he still wants his vengeance and he uses Ezra Bridger, who is a Jedi in training that he meets to gain access to the Sith Holocron. And of course he disappears after that because the whole place kind of gets destroyed while Ahsoka, who is old and alive, fighting Darth Vader, who is Anakin Skywalker in the Sith Temple. Of course, he also survived this because this is Dark Maul we're talking about. And he somehow is able to get on the Ghost, which is Ezra Bridger's basic headquarters, and find his Jedi Master's Kanan's Holocron. By combining them together, he was able to find someone he's been looking for for a very long time. That's right, Obi-Wan Kenobi. There, on the planet of Tatooine, that is not the freaking name of that planet, was the final fight. And of course, for people who are fans of Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, Star Wars in general, I think everyone knows Dark Maul died that day. Of course, he died honorably a warrior's death, even though he was a sociopath. Dark Maul's story is freaking long as hell, and I'm apologize if the story was long, but since it was my first big deep dive in of a Star Wars character, I'm glad it was Maul. Now let's get into the action figure review. The panty and sculpture of this action figure is absolutely amazing. I love the silver on the feet, I love the black, the gray that you can't see, the red and the black of his tattoos, his face, oh god, his face. I, I do admit, this thing was a little small when I opened it up, and I guess I have to get used to Black Series being small since I'm finally collecting them again, but I can safely say, dude, this thing... It just looks amazing. I love the legs, the way they look, they shine, the tattoos, the the black on his, oh God, it just looks so cool. And his face, yes, his face. Oh, that's just, oh, that's just mole, man. That's just dark mole. That's it. That's all that I can see. That's all I want to see. That's perfect. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> all seriousness though, it actually is really, really cool. I like it. This looks nice. For accessories, he comes with his lightsaber. This is how I knew that this guy was from Star Wars Rebels. And they just used the Star Wars Battlefield 2 so they can make this figure. Because that's the lightsaber he used in that show, man. This is the this is the lightsaber he used when he died. So I'm like, yeah, no, that's it. His lightsaber looks nice too. A lot of detail, a lot of silver and black. It looks nice. I like it. This, would, this is a cool last lightsaber. And of course, with a lightsaber, it comes with two red uh, light sabers also i did have to cut off the ridges on the saber part because they've been getting stuck and i don't want to deal with that crap so they pretty much just sit in there but not like where it's gonna break I, I don't know i can't explain it just know that i've made it to a point where it gets in there it stays in there but it doesn't break either so as you can see my little hands putting them in putting them in the lightsaber and once you got it in there, man, it looks amazing. Honestly, it looks really, really cool. I love it, personally. For articulation, amazing. Like, really, really good. I don't know if this is just me, but every single part of this body was as loose as... It, it was beautiful, honestly. I didn't have to modify anything. I, 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 I'm kind of shocked here. I haven't collected Star Wars Black Series in such a long time to, to come back into it and the first thing I get is Mole and it's perfect. I I don't know how to react to this. I'm, I'm honestly stuttering. It's amazing. I mean, of course, unlike the Marvel Legends, instead of it having like two hinges at the arm, it only has one. But you know what? Screw it. Because this thing is... I, I can't. I can't explain it. It's... The, the articulation on this thing is just really, 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 really good. It's so loose. It, I don't feel like it's going to break. It feels good. 
Star Wars action figure I don't have to modify. That I, 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 why am I stuttering so hard? <laughs> like I really am stuttering hard because I am really shocked, honestly. But yeah, no man, this thing is this thing is just so cool. I love it. It's it's so good. I just uh, 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 uh. Okay, let me take a breath. <sighs> For painting and sculption, this thing gets a star. Absolutely, this thing looks amazing. For accessories and articulation, gets a star. Cause the articulation is freaking amazing. And, you know, Star Wars Black Series, so I can't really ask a lot. I do kind of wish it came with the cane accessory so we can have Dark Maul holding the cane with the lightsaber. But, you know, banners can be choosers, so it still gets a star. With the pricing, which is basically 30 bucks, yeah, three star. And I'm not saying that just because, you know, it's the first Star Wars Black Series. I generally like this thing. To the point where I want to recommend this to anyone who likes Star Wars. It's it's that good. Honest, it's that good. Not to mention the fact, like I said, this thing is loose. It's it's movable. It's I don't I, I am able to put this thing into the stance that I can't do with Marvel Legends and freaking um DC Multiverse sometimes. This thing is perfect. I generally like it. I don't know if this thing is new or old, but I highly recommend you this. Like, it, like if you just need a dark mall for whatever reason, this. Just him. Always him. Forever him. I highly recommend this action figure. But with that being said, let me calm down because I'm going to go to sleep. This was a long video. Well, not long, but the, the other part of the editing was long. That being said... Thank you guys for watching. Like this video. Give me a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Next time, we'll be reviewing... What the hell? Is that a fly? That's not a firefly, is it? <laughs> that was so dumb. I'm sorry.